The Third Shift by Bass Budaik. After I graduated as an all-around laboratory worker, I decided to work my final internship for the summer. This was at the Quality Control Lab of Cabot Active Carbon and Klezinevine in the Netherlands. During that time, I worked a lot of night shifts, since they paid a lot better than normal jobs. However, one night the supervisor asked me if I was able to work three night shifts in a row, since one of my colleagues had gotten sick. I've done two shifts in a row before, so I thought it would be some easy extra money, and thus I agreed. The first two nights went by like usual. Workers came in with a trolley with neatly stacked jars of coal and peat samples. I analyzed them and filed them into the system. The third night something changed, and I couldn't quite put my finger on what it was. I decided to put that feeling behind me and worked like normal. The workers brought in the samples, I did my chemistry magic, and was waiting for the next batch of samples to come in. I kept waiting, and waiting, but the workers never came, which is totally normal of course. No production equals no samples, which equals no workers bringing the samples. But after about an hour of playing YouTube videos on the work PC, I heard something. I looked the way of where the sound came from, but saw nothing. Obviously, I said to myself, one of the workers is playing a prank on me. I said out loud, okay, you can come out now, but there was no response. Annoyed by the commitment to the joke, I stood and walked to the doorway where the workers usually enter. But then I heard it again. Oh, bass. The sound didn't come from the doorway. It came from behind me. Spooked, I turned around and saw an empty laboratory. Shaken, but still confident that it was a prank, I walked away from the door and commanded in my most stern 19-year-old voice, Who's there? No reply. Convinced that there was still someone there, I started looking around while continually trying to talk the person into revealing themselves. Come on, show yourself. I'm really not in the mood. <laughs> no answer. When I approached the second to last table, I decided to check under it in a scary way. That would show them to play pranks on me. Whoa! I yelled before checking. Nothing. It should be the last one then, I thought to myself. Whoa! There, in the corner under the table, I saw the silhouette of a small girl, black without any defining features, like something that would form from dropping a coal sample. The only thing I remember from her was her piercing eyes and her ear-to-ear -ear grin, which showed her enormous teeth. Hello, she said, right before disappearing. The rest of the night I was pretty weirded out by the situation, but I chalked it up as the result of sleep deprivation. But I still think back on that day every so often and I try to remember, did I really sleep that little that day?